Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on the GATE 2019 statistics paper. Today we will discuss the question number 24 and 25 related to the chi-square test in the GATE statistics. Firstly look about that what are those questions are there. This is question number 24 in which we have to find the degree of freedom of the test statistics. Later on question number 28 is again related to this chi-square distribution and we have to find the probability whether it is greater than less than or there. So this is a question number 24 and 25 which we are covered in this target series are there. After that we will discuss about here. So let's see how you can solve these two questions. Now here this is the question of the one mark so it means you need to cover this question within a one minute. How you can solve that? All of us know that how you can define the degree of freedom. This is nothing but my n minus 1. That's a simple rule all of you know that. Now what is the twist behind this question? So what is the n of that? Uh, look at that a random sample of size. This is a random sample of size. How many size are there? 100 is classified into the 10 class sub interval. This is a one class, this second class and so on. So n is my 10. So degree of freedom it will be my here. Now is there any other thing is that you have to test whether they are come from the normal distribution with unknown mean and unknown variance. Now it means you have to subtract something which are unknown. So how many parameters are unknown in this question? One is the mean and other is the variance. So it means there are the two unknown parameters. So you have to subtract this is a normal degree of freedom minus the unknown parameter. So what is the right answer of this is 7. So right answer of this is my 7 is there. So remember that whenever you are trying to calculate the degree of freedom always remember the rule is n minus 1 provided all are known. If they are unknown then you have to find subtract those unknown elements also. Look at this question number 28 what is given to you x follows the chi-square distribution with m here y follows the chi-square with n here. What is the meaning of that? It, what is the meaning of this? The, what is the mean of this x? This is nothing but my degree of freedom. You can see that degree of freedom of the x is my m and variance is nothing but my twice of the m. Similarly, what is the mean of the y is n, variance of the y is my 2n and here. But if you look about this uh, here, there is no need of finding the mean and variance. Now, what is the rule behind the, what is the relation between the degree of freedom and the probability? This is the question about that. So a very simple rule is that whenever degree of freedom is which one is the degree of freedom is greater than probability of the that variable is greater than of the other. That's a simple rule. So here if m is less than of the n what is the meaning of that probability of the x is less than of the probability of the y because n is corresponding to y but here is the reverse one so this option is cancelled out. m is greater than n so the probability of the x over the same parameter a is greater than of this is the right option. Probability of m less than equality will not be there because uh, it's, uh, it's equality only when it's equality. So none of this is also cancelled. So the right answer of this problem is my b. Always remember this simple trick behind that. So like say if I say x follows the chi-square distribution with 3 degree of freedom, y is chi-square of uh, 4 degree of freedom, then which one option is correct? Since 3 is less than 4 then uh, probability of the x is less than of the probability of y. So this is the simple rule behind this chi-square distribution. We will look about the next questions on the MLE estimators, Markov chain, least care and other in our next class. Till then, best of luck students. Happy learning. <laughs>